Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. We're looking at In Style magazine this week. This is December, January 2022. And I'm going to try this one, soft spoken, instead of fully whispered, because I had a sore throat this week and kind of lost my voice. So I think my whisper is too quiet right now. So we'll see how this soft spoken goes. And who knows, I might just break into a whisper out of habit, but um, this is a double fashion issue, which means it is a thick one. It's a thick magazine, so I've got a lot of pages to get through. But here on the cover, we have Reese Witherspoon, and it kind of doesn't look like her. I don't know if it's just this photo, if it's the makeup and hair, but... Um, but she's in the Chanel outfit on the cover. I think we'll see more looks inside. So let's take a look. So for our first ad, we have this Hermes ad. It's like a little perfume bottle. And it's like very cutesy and colorful and fun and bright. Um, it seems like it's a ginger scent. I've never smelled this perfume, so I couldn't tell you. Next, we have this Dior ad. This is from when they were doing all their shoots um, like in these Roman ruins, which is interesting. Um, and the photography is kind of blurry, except for this girl. She's clear, and her bag is crystal clear. Her bag is crystal clear. Next, we have Valentino. It's kind of... Um, movie scene looking ads. That's, is that, that's Dixie D'Amelio. So I wonder if these are all TikTokers. I don't know. I don't know, but they are showing us their backs. So they're doing their job. Another Valentino ad. Oh, I actually really like this back. It's kind of floral. I can't tell, it seems textured. I think that's very pretty and the chain is very interesting. So now we're here in the directory a lot going on in this magazine. Okay, introducing the Loren look, Ralph Loren, your ultimate style and rental destination. This seems like it was like a rent the runway, but for Ralph Loren. That's an interesting idea. I wonder if they're still doing that. After this, I'm going to look it up and see if they're still doing that. More directory, watch ad. I'm not familiar with We have guests, these kind of 80s bombshell looks. Guess. More directory. We got Tessa Thompson, love her. Roberto Coin medallion collection. Not familiar with this brand either, but these are pretty. And the editor's letter. Wow, this is exciting. Finally, a double December January fashion palooza issue. Dear reader, I've longed for this. So, the editor was excited about this issue. And here we have another watch ad, this one with Renee John Page, which definitely puts us in, you know, 2021, 2022, because he blew up around then with Bridgerton. Still waiting for him to get his movie star role. Oh, I loved him to Dungeons and Dragons last year. From the past year, what will you remember? The contributors. The growth I've experienced, I've become more confident in myself and my work. It's such a great feeling. Okay, feedback from last issue. How pretty is Anya Taylor-Joy? Here we have Marianne Cotier. She's a French actress. She's been in some Christopher Nolan movies along with a lot of kind of more art house movies. I think she's been Oscar nominated a couple of times. And she's been the face of Chanel for a lot of years. She's been a Chanel girl for a long time. Okay. 
my likes Reese Witherspoon on what keeps her inspired. Beauty Essentials, A Vitamin C, Rose Oil, Misqualine Elderberry Jelly Cleanser, Style Icons, Tyler the Creator, Grace Kelly, Jane and Judy Jensen. That's a cute, that's a cute answer for that. Her everyday jewelry, her top red carpet moments. Hmm. She looks very beautiful in all of these. These are all red carpet moments where she looks very beautiful. But I won't call them her top moments. I think your top moments should be more interesting than that. But that's just my take. Her go to designers Michael Kors, Stella McCartney, Sel Celine. Tom Ford, and Draper James. Those are all kind of um, well-tailored, sleek designers. It's a good combo for her. What characters, or characters who influence your style? After playing Tracy Flick in election, I realized I don't look good in sweater vests. There, so there are none of those in my closet. And then whenever I wear pink, I think about what cute. A start. Star turn. This is a really interesting fabric. I don't know if you can see it, but it looks like a green silk, but it has like a, it looks like a wood grain print on it. It's beautiful green. I like this very much. The start. So other things I recommend. Louis Vuitton book, sustainable denim, hmm. nothing on this page is really speaking to me, badass basics, so they're recommending this dress and a suit jacket and a leopard print belt as badass basics. Questionable to me. Let's see. On demand. What we can't stop thinking about this month. Shine bright. Nothing says party time. Like gleaming and glamorous extras. So let's look at the photography here. This photo. Right? All the jewelry. And there's jewelry in the oysters. And I do not like it. There's something off about that photo to me. But this photo I love. I think this photo is so beautiful. The bracelet, the shoes, laying on the screen, the sofa, the drink in the olives. I love this photo. Here we're highlighting the golden shoe and the golden dress and the interesting tights. Here we have like pinks and reds in a way that I think looks really nice like this photo better than this photo, so right page is winning out over left page. Oh, here we have a nice, oh, sorry, I just hit my mic. Um, hopefully that wasn't loud. Uh, here we have on the left page, it's beaded, it's beaded curtain, and someone in a pink suit is coming down. Sparkly shoe, this Prada shoe. Honestly, this shoe would be kind of reasonable to party all night in. Meanwhile, this shoe, this would not be a reasonable shoe to party in. Look how tall that shoe is. That's gotta be, what, 10 inch heel? Crazy. Um, this Prada bag. I actually like both these photos. But I'll give it to the left side just to tie it up a bit. Voices of style. As 2021 comes to a close, we celebrate the creatives and luminaries who drove the culture forward. Here we have Michaela Cole. She had the TV show, I May Destroy You, HBO. Pier Paolo, the Valentino creative director. I think he just announced that he's retiring, just like a month ago or something. Um, Daniel Roseberry, he's the creative director at Scaparelli. 
and I think he's great. He's been doing incredible things with that brand. And what does it say? It says the Cotillier's work stands on its own as high art thanks to its, thanks to its combination of daring surrealist references and gravity defying silhouettes. Yeah, love what Daniel Rosemary's been doing. Harris Reed, Emily Adam Bode. The brains behind Bode consistently set the standard for green fashion. And here is Lord in Bode at the Met Gala. I forgot about that look. I like that look a lot. And just like that, this is when Sex and the City comeback was just coming out. Now it's been out forever. And I don't think people really care about it anymore, but um, other voices of style. They're highlighting Selena Gomez and her character in Only Murders in the Building, which did have very cute outfits. Hello, lovers. After months of uncertainty, rooting for these celebrity couples was a welcome distraction. Okay, let's go through them, see who's still together. Jordan, Michael B. Jordan, Lori Harvey. They are not still together. Zoe Kravitz and Channing Tatum. Oh, I think they're engaged now, actually. Cute. Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez. They got married, and she just did that crazy movie documentary album release. So, they're still together. Shailene Woodley and Aaron Rodgers. They are no longer together. I think he was dating a witch. Um who then cursed his season after they broke up. It's a very funny conspiracy theory. Um, Machine Gun Kelly and Megan Fox. I think they have broken up and gotten back together 37 times since then. Harry Styles and Olivia Wilde. They are no longer together. He is dating Taylor Russell now, which is a very cute couple. And Rihanna and ASAP Rocky. They now have two cute kids. Two cute babies. Good for them. Good for them. Models of the moment. The runway is their platform and they use it to make a statement. They're highlighting Emily Ratajkowski who just released her book. Kwana Chasing Horse, the indigenous model. Aaron Ellison, Aaron Rose Phillip, laughing to the top, writer, actress, and comedian Rodman Thade on creating spot on characters and bringing them to life for another round of her hilarious sketch show. Cute. Here we have a Calvin Klein ad with Richard Madden. I feel like I have not seen Richard Madden around lately. I wonder what he's up to. Okay, leading ladies, our favorite performances this year. Powerful actresses playing formidable women. So we have Andre Day as Billie Holiday, Kristen Stewart as Lady Di, Princess Diana. Jessica Chastain, um, Tammy Faye Baker, she won her Oscar for that. Jennifer Hudson as Aretha Franklin, Lady Gaga in House of Gucci, and Beanie Feldstein as Monica Lewinsky. Queens of the World, Roots Balls Drag Race Season 13 finalist Scott Mick, an All Stars winner. Shea Cole, you know that drag's mainstream is more than a moment. So they do a Q&A with them. Fashion allows me to bear my soul and show people how I see myself. Super stylist. The pros behind this year's most memorable celebrity looks proves they can tackle any occasion from red carpet to virtual ceremonies and make it look the fashion. Obviously, to me, the biggest name on the page is Ra La Roche, who 
This style of Zente has been like groundbreaking. Let's see who says. I want to use my plan my platform to amplify voices and inspire young creators who look like me, says Roach, who describes himself as the only image architect. Yeah, he's taking stylist to a new level. He really has. Michaela. Oh, this is the TikTok makeup person. She's had like five scandals since then. <laughs> Instant style. What to wear, what to buy. So some fashion recommendations. They're saying funky fresh, hit your groove with playful psychedelics. With Birkenstocks. Oh, that's actually a really cute Birkenstock that I haven't seen before. Nice and cozy. Retro puffers, polished loafers, classic car coat. I love coats that look like this. And like this half and half one. Oh, I love. It's $388. I wonder if I could like find it on clearance now, all these years later. Um, elevated animal print. Yeah, that's a pass for me. Okay. You know you want it. Rodarte set the new strand standard for suiting with this fluid feminine look. Pay homage at home with a neutral wardrobe. It's this flowy neutral suiting. I like the shoe. Um, Fitbits. Some fashion looks. Not my favorite look for me. I love it when other people do it, but not for me. Treat yourself. These wear for over jewelry investments. Investments are destined to become heirlooms. Earrings and bracelets and rings and chains. I would like to have a little more of a jewelry collection. I really only have like a handful of rings, but I don't have very many bracelets or necklaces or anything. Okay, oh, I love these pages. My style crush. So, the admirer, Amelia Jones. So many young actors try to dress older. I think it's time, better to enjoy the short time of being a kid. So she's a teen star. These are some of her looks that they're calling out as being really great. But her fashion crush is Al Fanning, who is a great fashion crush. I think Al Fanning is one of the best dressed celebrities we have. She has such a specific style. Let's see what else says. It's nerve-wracking to take risks, but I've always been daring, and I never want to lose that quality. I agree. Al Fanning, she does a lot of, like Zendaya, like dressing as her character on the red carpet. She also has like a stylist she's very, she works really closely with. I think she does, she takes a lot of risks and looks really Good looks. Women we want to dress like Sydney Sweeney. Wow, Sydney Sweeney has even like popped off more than this. Like every year she just gets to be a bigger star. But they're saying dress like Sydney Sweeney. Dress like Jennifer Hudson. Which this dress I think is very pretty that they picked out this orange dress. Dress like Helen Mirren, the class act. Helen Mirren does do a good job of she dresses very classy, but she always looks hot. Like it's like classy, but also very like very bold and sensual. Like she always looks very cool. This dress is beautiful. It's like she dresses for her age without looking dowdy ever. It's like an incredible fine line she does. Oh, Jody Turner Smith. Cody is such a fashion icon. She's one of those people that everything she puts on looks amazing. So she can wear whatever she wants. And she uses that power for good. Because she wears interesting, fun, cool things. Like this look when she was pregnant. Oh, obsessed. Obsessed. Just, yeah. Like she is wearing things. She's pulling off things that no one else can wear. That's powerful.
my style actress and entrepreneur Brooke Shields one of her favorites and comb lip masks her daily uniform jeans a blazer and Gucci loafers her playlist I'm in a Harry Styles face her she recommends the drunk elephant vitamin C I hear good things about that but it's $78 which just seems really expensive but maybe I need to try it These are, these are really good picks. Brooke, Steals, Brooke Shields does have very good style. Interesting taste. Okay. More instant style recommendations. Statement sparkle. Sequins. I do love a sequin look. But important to remember with sequins. Sequin tank tops will always hurt your arms because <laughs> sequins are not soft. So if you're doing sequins, do a sleeve. But I love all of these looks. Oh, polished velvet. Oh, beautiful. And try it with a headband. Oh, I'm loving these looks. The green velvet suit, the green velvet turtleneck. Oh. Bold black and white. Interesting, interesting. Here we have a Versace perfume ad. I can't tell who that is. It kind of looks like Olivia Wilde, but kind of doesn't. Who is that? I don't know. Okay, back to our party looks. Bodycon ruching. These cool ruching looks. Eh, I feel, I feel mad about that compared to the other looks. Oh, Compared to like this, ethereal draping, take note romantics. Look at that. Draping and the rouging and the pleating. It's so pretty. So pretty. Okay, and now to the beauty section. Best glam moments. The best glam. And updos are back. Make the stallion's nails. Harry Beaver's peel and stick eyeliner? No, I don't think that was a moment. Well, let's make a comeback. Yes. The OG supermodels are back. about wellness the hype man social media sensation and new YSL beauty ambassador Ricky Thomas is celebrating the beginning of his grown and sexy era I don't have to try so hard or follow somebody else's life I can just be myself why should beauty be held to one standard we need more openness his recommendations the super group sunscreen which is incredible too expensive. There are a few dupes of this that are good now. Rosie Huntington Whiteley. Her beauty talk. True beauty lies in the person that you are and the way you make people feel in your presence. Sure, easy to say when you look like that. <laughs> okay, that's Fierce and festive, from soft pinks to intense red, holiday party season calls for lipstick. So some rip lip step recommendations. I haven't tried any of these, so I have no feedback. I do like lipsticks though. I just find my lipsticks last forever. So I'm not out here trying a lot of different kinds. Some medicine ad. Some gift sets based on your sign. Okay. Style in Dolce Vita. An Italian hotel. Like, I'm hoping this is a look inside her home. I am loving 
these bookshelves, these built-ins, the green trim. Loving those. Looks like we have records and DVDs and movies and books. Just like a mix. Wow. Yeah, I'm loving this home. I feel like this house has incredible vibes. It feels very collected, right? Like things that someone has picked up over a lifetime of having good taste. Um, it feels very friendly while still being very high fashion. Let's see, there's a quote down here. My life's passions and interests are splashed all over the house. Yes. Yeah, that's what it feels like, right? With that collected feel. Okay. The place, Budapest. So here's some recommendations for going to Budapest. My anchor, soft spot, recommendations, um, things to buy from this person. Table for two, baking buddies. <laughs> There's a little recipe at the bottom here. That's a cute photo. I feel like that photo is of two people who are very happy to be hanging out. Okay, spotlight on Connie Britton. She was in the White Lotus Up season that had come out that year. Um, and here's recommendations. What to see, what was coming out then, which is, you know, a throwback, and what to read. women. They're highlighting Vicky Akin, who is an Afghan count country director for International Rescue Committee. There's a quote down here. I didn't sleep for three days because we're trying to figure out how to keep everyone safe. Very cool. Saving lives. We have a feature on Martha Stewart. Call me Martha. Oh, this is fun. It's Martha Stewart and Martha Plimpton, the comedian doing an interview together. Here's a quote from Martha Stewart. I saw you in one of your first big movies, The Mosquito Coast. That's when your face imprinted in my brain. I never forgot it after that. That's very funny. These are two people I wouldn't think would have a lot in common, but they probably do. Now and then, highlight of Christina Ricci. Going with the punchlines, Nicole Byer. I love Nicole Byer. I love her as a podcast host and guest. If she pops up on a podcast, you're about to have a good time. Let's see the quote. It says, I'm very funny to some people and others are like, I hate you. But that's fine because my check's clear. <laughs> love her. Okay. December, January style. Out with the old, in with the extra. See that here with the face gems and the Scaparelli shoes, the shiny leather with the gloves. Okay, she's got the power. She's got the power. Having made the leap from actress to mogul, Reese Witherspoon now knows true success means bringing all the ladies with her. So here's this photo of Reese. That this photo looks like Reese. She looks very beautiful. She's in that photo that doesn't look like her again. Um, there's a quote here. I do what I've been very good at. No, I do think I'm very good at what I do. I've been doing it for 30 years. I know what I'm doing. Right? Because she's moved from actress to like mega producer. She is known for optioning books. So she'll option a book to be a movie and then she'll put it in her super popular book club. So she'll buy the rights to the book, and then she'll advertise the book in her book clubs, and the book becomes a huge hit. And then the movie becomes a huge hit. <laughs> it's brilliant, and it's so silly that she's the first person to have thought of it, because it's like, duh, what a good idea. But, kind of revolutionary. Here she is 
she is laying on this couch. Yeah, she's a very successful producer now. She's for a very successful book club. And um, she also has like a Teflon reputation. Like she's been in some situations that I feel like would ruin other people's reputations and she just bounces back, it's incredible. See, it says I'm 45. I know who I want to spend time with and who I don't. <laughs> yeah, I do feel like in the past year she's gotten very blunt in her interviews, but in a way that like only makes her more charming and likable. Okay, tea time. Saucy and self-possessed actress Tessa Thompson is the master of her own universe. Yes, we love Tessa Thompson. Oh, these photos are Oh, this is interesting to have like this very 60s, 70s kitchen and she's in this very like modern sequin outfit. It's cool. And here she is in like the 70s outfit that I would think would be in that kitchen, but... Oh, this dress is very beautiful. I feel like this dress, like I would get married in that, right? Like a white sequin. I'm kind of obsessed. So Rosetta Getty Gown. she has in like this tuxedo with these like huge sleeves Interesting. hopefully the work offers the most insights into what a person is at least that's what I want my work to be more than anything else I might do I think she's a very talented actress I do okay the optimist Tim Cook a feature about Tim Cook in here, which is very funny after like two very fashionable features on actresses to have Tim Cook just in like a flannel. <laughs> Seems a little odd. Okay, make it up. So we have Creative Direction and Makeup by Raul Alexandre. And look at this crystal makeup. Extremely cool. This is a very cool makeup look. The black smoky eye, the shiny red orange lip, the red orange crystals. Obsessed. Beautiful hat and weird eyelashes. The line that goes all the way. These are cool makeup looks. They're like very high fashion, but also like kind of wearable still. This one feels very 80s to me. This is a pretty photograph. Oh, that makeup look is incredible, right? With this blush, this odd colored blush, blends into the eyeshadow. Beautiful. Very beautiful. Okay, the girls wear Dior. Had about or a article about Dior and the new designer Maria Grazzi. I have mixed feelings on Maria Grazzi's Dior. I mostly don't like what she's doing there, but every now and then she really pops off and has a good look that comes out, so kind of mixed. But this is Maria Grazzi, the designer. These are actresses in her design. You know, like, I think this is beautiful. I don't know. I'm mixed on the Dior, but let's see what she has to say. I don't like that to be beautiful, you have to be uncomfortable. I think it's so ridiculous. Do you want that is a good point? And her clothes do all have, like, a flowy comfort to them. Like, she's never, like, cramming people into these, like, uncomfortable looking outfits. So, that is a plus. Okay, Viva La Rita. Rita Moreno feature. This is an awesome vintage photo. This is from 1954, it says. Did I miss a page? Oh, I did miss a page. Okay. So fine. It's 
nice to feel precious. So some jewelry features. Here we have these leaves and the green emeralds. That's pretty. It's pretty, but it's very extravagant. It would be hard to match that with things. Wow. It's a huge necklace. A huge ring. Yeah, definitely extravagant. This pretty floral necklace. This emu artemis ring. 